thanks a lot for the invitation to this uh, workshop. <coughs> First of all, honorable PS uh, Demo, it's nice to see you here, and all colleagues uh, from Nokia, the World Bank, InfoDev. Um, when I prepared for this uh, speech, I hope it won't be too boring. Uh, I thought first that uh, how is Africa doing? There are many different reports that we read, uh, at least the executive summary, about like the, the state of Africa. And as we know that the IMF, for example, indicates that in 2012, seven out of the world's ten uh, African states are like seven of African states are, are the fast growing economies in the world. And this message was also conveyed in the, the State of East Africa report that was released recently. But we also hear other views about uh, that there is growth but not the development. That still the poverty rate is uh, in many sub Saharan countries is. Uh, nearly 50% of the population lives uh, below the poverty line. And uh, there is also a recent report of the World Economic Forum, the ICT report 2012, that said that the level of the ICT readiness in sub-Saharan Africa is still very low, and that the sub-Saharan region suffer, suffers a digital divide to, uh, in comparison to developing some developed regions. So there are different messages. But as, as the, the PES said, I think there is a lot of uh, p potential. You should be confident in yourself. As that what we see is that there is a lot of encouraging uh, innovations, uh, uh, growth in the innovation field, both in the ICT and in other sectors. Uh, I've been in, in Kenya now for uh, nearly nine months, and uh, the first that I uh, like, uh, realized about the ICT field is uh, M-Pesa. Never heard about something like that kind of money transfer in Finland. Or we also have uh, many success, for success stories uh, that, ha that are like fruits of this joint initiative between the government of Finland, Nokia, and the World Bank, World Bank's InfoDev that uh, enables innovation and entrepreneurship in Africa. So there are like important signs that, uh, uh, and good signs, as we know that innovation creates possibilities and new horizon, opens new horizons. There's a lot of jobs to be created, and jobs means to come out of poverty, and the special need with jobs is, of course, then to, uh, to create jobs for the young, uh, pop the young population. As we know, if the youngs uh, are more on the streets and not being um, employed, there is danger for instability in the society. So in short, innovation and entrepreneurship uh, is an important vehicle to fight poverty and to enable development and stability. I think um, the, the PS put it, it, it good, well in, um, in um, focusing, underlining some of the, the strengths that uh, Africa, its IT, IT uh, boom has, and that is to, to, to come up with technology and innovations that is tailored for Africa's specific demands and requirements. Mobile internet has been intensely developed here. And um, uh, I think we can thank Nokia and also other Finnish companies for uh, contributing to and being part of, of this development. As it, it is now very easy and affordable to offer wireless internet technology to African users, both in the urban areas and then in, in the rural areas as well. And um, I see that this is a huge platform to continue to develop customized ICT solutions that can easily be brought to end users. One good example uh, that I also uh, heard, and then I, I also had the chance to visit their uh, small uh, office 
here in Nairobi is the information transfer that M Farm has created to keep farmers up to date with uh, market prices for their farm products and also to connect them to, to buyers and exporters. But as we know, uh, also the global markets are open for African innovations. I think we, I could na name many, but I, I now mentioned the success story of, of uh, Ushahidi, that this is a, a good opening to show that it's the African markets, but also the global markets that is in reach. Uh, we see that green technology, te green technology can help to save and to produce energy from renewable and non-polluting sources. And it can also help to monitor climate and environment, to analyze uh, trends and threats that is expecting us. So this is a potential future field for new ICT innovations. And um, I would encourage you, as also we heard from, from Yussi in his opening uh, remarks, that this is a good place to think out of the box and uh, to see what kind of uh, uh, solutions can be found for uh, the green technology and to, to meet the requirements and the t uh, to meet the challenges that is ahead when it comes to, to climate change. <clears throat> then some words about Finland. As um, I think you all, all like see Finland as the leading uh, or one of the leading ICT nations in the world. Nokia, Linux, Angry Birds, there are only uh, there's a couple of, of like uh, ICT brands that we, we have that Finland is no, well known for. But I think it's, it's useful to recall that only three generations ago, Finland was a very poor and agrarian country. So the development has been really huge and fast. And I think uh, in order to enable this uh, development, there were many different factors that came together. Um, trade and innovations were the essential parts of this development. And I think there was a, like a culture of innovation that was created. And there, um, it sounds very bureaucratic, the Research and Innovation Council of Finland. Um, that was a platform uh, for uh, to exchange of views between different actors, both uh, the government, of course the enterprises, academics, hackers, in a positive sense hackers. And um, so th this, was, this produced uh, or gave a good platform for discussion and also for the, the government to understand how the, uh, the government can support uh, this culture of innovation. And I think it, uh, you can then ask the, the representatives of Nokia here if the commer commercialization of text messages that was first introduced by Nokia is a result of this council's work. Jussi can tell us more about that. So inclusion of different actors, that is key. Uh, and I think uh, uh, like the need to have both women, young, like the, those of bit of uh, coming more to age, to have uh, involved and to create the uh, fresh, like the end product would be to cre create fresh ICT products, services and, sol and solutions that are attractive to all groups in society. And just uh, this uh, last Saturday in the Kenyan Daily Nation paper, we could read about young Kenyan women in the ICT field. And here I would like to, to quote what Ms. Kaburo Kobia said in that article. I wonder if she would be here in the audience, by the way. Um, and I quote her, uh, for Kenya to generate innovation in technology, we need the participation of people, women, from all fields. This will enrich the solutions that are created." End of quote. Very wise words. But also, there are many different actors in this room and during your workshop. I wish you really inspiring and exciting discussions. And I'm sure by the end of, of Wednesday, 
you will have come up with many new ideas to the questions that Africa needs to find answers to. Thank you.